Hello, it's Friday, October 2nd, and welcome to Minutes That Matter. Well, turn in your Bible with me to Matthew chapter 7. Today, Christ brings his Sermon on the Mount to a close. He's brought his listeners to a decision point about him and all the spiritual truth concerning what a new life through him looks like. He's been wanting them to not be self-deceived into thinking that just hearing and agreeing with the information is enough. There needs to be a genuine belief in who he is and who they are and the correct response in their heart that drives their decision and resultant faith in Jesus Christ. Well, to communicate that choice, Christ uses the following illustration beginning in verse 24. So follow along as I quote. Everyone then who hears these words of mine and does them will be like a wise man who built his house on the rock. And the rain fell, and the floods came, and the winds blew and beat on that house. But it did not fall because it had been founded on the rock. And everyone who hears these words of mine and does not do them will be like the foolish man who built his house on the sand. And the rain fell, and the floods came, and the winds blew and beat against that house, and it fell, and great was the fall of it. Well, as we have understood, these individuals at first glance look the same, but on a closer examination, the differences are vast and bring eternal consequences. So look once again at the outcome of each house when confronted by the storm. Christ is addressing the outcome of each person's life. And friends, let us not get too hung up on trying to define what the rain and the floods and the wind represent. Simply summed up, they represent God's final judgment. The storm is the ultimate test that the house of every human life will face. The only difference about the storm in regard to the wise and the foolish man is the way it affects their houses or their life. And what was the result? Well, the house of the wise man may have been shaken, yet it did not fall, for it had been founded upon the rock, God, his truth. But when the same adversity came upon the house of the foolish man, it disintegrated, and great was its fall. It was utterly demolished. And there's there's one more of the points. This is the destiny of those who build on the sand of man's ideas, man's philosophies, man's religions. Friends, it's not that such people will have little left, but nothing left. Their way is not an inferior way to God, but no way to God at all. Always and inevitably, it leads to destruction. Its absolute destiny is to fall. And the most tragic difference between the builders is in the final destinies. Jesus' sermon ends with a devastating warning of judgment. And its final words are, And great was its fall. The bottom line of the gospel of those who reject Christ is not that they forfeit a great deal of blessings or even that they forfeit a life of eternal bliss with God in heaven, though those things are absolutely true. The bottom line for those who reject Christ is that they are destined for everlasting torment, destruction that keeps on destroying forever. Those whose houses are on the rock of Jesus Christ and his word will be delivered from the wrath to come and will only have praise from God. Now, we'll look at the last two verses of the chapter. And it came to pass when Jesus had ended these sayings that the people were astonished at his doctrine, for he had taught them as one having authority and not as the scribes. Most of the people only watched and listened, only heard and considered, but Friends, they did not decide. But even by not deciding, they still decided. They decided to stay on the broad road labeled heaven, but really leads to hell. My friends, is Christ calling you to that same decision point in your life today? Don't be the individual who only watched and listened, who built their life upon the sand. At the end of Matthew's gospel, we see Christ dying on the cross to take our penalty for sin and providing a way for us to be forgiven and have a restored relationship with God. If you want to know more about that, leave a comment below or click on the link to our website and follow the instructions on how to get a hold of us through email because we would love to hear from you soon. And so, from all of us at Minutes That Matter, have a blessed day.